equatorboys.com here to help you find where to find your Outlook PST file or where is the Outlook PST file. Don't panic, we'll find it for you. And I'm going to show you here on my Windows 7 machine. I've connected to it and just logged in. Now I'm going to assume two things while we're doing this presentation. The first one is that uh, the user you are logging in with is an administrative user that you have access to the full hard drive and to be able to see what you need to see. And the second thing is if you're looking for an archive or PST file that is related to the user you're logging in with, uh, the, the profile that you're logged in as. So in the first example I'm just going to show you where to find your Outlook file if it is associated with your current login. And this is on Windows 7 and Windows XP will be very similar. Windows 8 or 8.1 also would be very similar for Office 2003, Office 2007, 2010 and 2013 are all very similar. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the control panel. To get to the control panel you typically are going to come down here to the Windows Start icon. You're going to left click and you're going to look for the control panel in your menu. Open it up. We're looking for something called the mail mail icon, mail management. Strangely enough, that's where we're going to find our email information. If you don't see the icons like I have them here, you'll want to come up here to the view by and change it from, you know, category to small icons. Then we're going to look for mail. It's in alphabetical order, left to right, A, B, C, D. Okay, so we've got mail right here. Open the mail. Account settings, server settings, all that kind of stuff for your email accounts is found under this. We're looking for data files. We're going to go in there. Okay, so on my particular uh, machine, I have three archive files currently associated with my Outlook. All right, so the three of them are, are in these locations. Those are in my documents. I want you to take note of the top one. The top one is in the default location for Outlook. If Outlook is going to start creating an archive.pst, it defaults to the name archive.pst, it will be in this location. All right, under C, Users, the username, my username is Nick, whatever your username is, that would be there. App Data, Local, Microsoft, Outlook. Inside that folder is where it would typically create a PST file and it would be called archive.pst. So the best way to get there is to just select it, go up here to open file location and clone it. Okay, so there it is, that's my file. At this point if I wanted to uh, create a copy or a backup of that, I could go ahead and burn a copy of that as, lo as long as my Outlook is closed and shut down then I can burn a copy of that file to DVD or CD if it would fit or take a copy of that to your external drive or USB stick so that you have an offline backup copy of your PST file. Okay, the other way that we can find the PST files if you think you have a PST file, you can't find it or you know there's one or two on the hard drive somewhere perhaps for a different user profile, we're gonna look for that now. Okay, and with the way we're gonna look for that is we're gonna open up Windows Explorer and that's just the folder icon here or you can right click on the Windows icon go open Windows Explorer or if you have a my computer icon on your desktop double click on that okay at this point we're gonna look for the computer and C drive select C drive on the left pane and we're looking for the search window up here in the top right you should have a search window select in there with your left mouse and we're going to look for a wildcard search and it has come up there it's a star or asterisk above your eight number eight key dot pst so the asterisk is a wildcard search for the database in this case the windows database that is the file system star dot pst will now start searching through the whole c drive for all pst files so you remember that my profile had three pst files now there are many many more because I've got a bit of a mess to be honest with you. <laughs> For an IT administrator I've got too much junk. Alright, some of them are created by default. So I have a bunch of them in several locations and not just in that default location. So now I want to highlight something else to you and what I want to highlight is the size. This particular one and the date modified. So this is actually today's date 
This is my active archive file. It is at 4.1 gigabytes. It's large. It's been there for a few years and I have to take note of the size because if I want a backup copy on a DVD, for instance, for example, a single layer DVD, I can't let that get much bigger. It's going to be too big to fit on a single layer DVD. Okay, So then I might have to create another archive or I have to look at one of these other ones. That's for another video and I will do that and uh, you can look for that other video later. So take note of the file size, take a look at the date modified and you can scroll through, find the one that you're looking for and again you can select the one you want. The 265 kilobyte files is a default size. That has nothing in it. Absolutely nothing. So if it's 265 kilobytes, forget about it. Uh, if it's not in use, delete it. <laughs> Hasn't been modified since 2008. I think I don't need that. So I can actually just go in here and delete. Okay. Otherwise, I can go and right click on there and open file location for any of these. Open file location and I can go ahead and uh, burn a copy or copy it out. And we'll talk about uh, archive management and PST file management on another video. Hope this has helped you out to find your Outlook PST file. Nick at quitterboys.com